computer just about all of them are for the I don't know five hours four and a half five hours out I've got loads of stuff just some bits and bobs so I'll, uh, I'll have a bit of a clean up when I get back to you soon as okay I'll start off with the the junk and the crap and the uh, the old bits of metal and then we'll move on to coins this uh, it's an iron nail spike whatever you want to call it bits of lead another bit of lead bit of lead a lighter a little bit of tin copper I think it is brass ring little bits of and that's like Reminds me of something out of a Bunsen burner for some reason. Okay. Shrapnel. Yeah, this little thing. Bike valve or something. The guy that picked that up at 3 inches. Got a 250. Musket ball. Perfect little musket ball. Little bullets, I think that's a 2 2. A buckle. I don't know whether that's old or not. I don't know anything about buckles. Buckles are buckles, aren't they? Chopped off coins. And uh, this thing. I think this is a. Uh, Pocket watch winder. I'm sure uh, if it's not, someone will put me right. Yeah, so it's very delicate, like very thin. Okay. Let's move on to coins. Okay, just before we do coins, I just want to show you this what I found. I think it's uh, I think it's a pendant. I don't know if you can see that on the top. I'm sure it says Maria San oh. Lad I don't know. You can see the picture. See if I can get some more detail off it. Wait a minute. Okay, on the other side. I hope you can see this. Like I say, I think it was a pendant. See the top there, there's two tiny little little pieces there, so uh, I think it snapped off from there. So yeah, that's interesting. It's not a coin. I think it's a pendant of sorts. Okay, let's move on. Okay folks, back again. Here's all the coins. Let's get cracking. There's two ten pences. And these two ten pences which were in the same hole and stuck together. See the two bits there joined up. Where they almost fused together as one. Okay. Two peas, loads of pennies, or well, one pence as I should say. Uh, half of a new one pence. Okay. No dates off these, I'm afraid. Trippences. I think that one's 1942. I 
It's 1939, I can see that one. I also got these things here. Um, I'll start with this one. I really thought it was hammered when I first got it. As you can see, it's wafer thin. But it's just got. I don't know if you can see. Um, on the top there, it's got W stamped into it. It's just below my finger there. And the number six. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. Yeah, W6. Hit with the lawnmower by the look of it. The other side's blank, not on the other side. Okay, and this thing, which... Can't get anything off at all. It's quite thick. You know, quite thick. Smaller than an Aveny. Um, it's too small for a two pence or a ten pence. Can't be any of them. It's just, it's really quite thick. Like, you know, al almost as thick as a pound coin. It's a mil and a half, possibly um, thinner than a pound coin. But until I can clean it up a bit more or, or try and clean it up, I don't know. What I'll do is I'll clean it up and if there is anything I'll, I'll get back to you on a, another video or something. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Nineteen forty-four is that ship evening. 1926. That would be George V under there somewhere. That's George V as well. Yeah. No chance of getting a date off that one. These are there. I've only run them under the tap. 27, 1927, George V. Nineteen forty three, Really messy, like really cruddy. Okay, pennies. I think that's eighteen eighty five or eighteen eighty six. Which will make it a young bun, Victoria, under there somewhere. I'll soak them in olive oil for ages and uh, see if I can remove some of that crud. What's this one? 1910, Edward. Yeah, there he is. Nineteen twelve, George V. Uh, twenty six. Really ugly, that one. Eating away. 
Okay, so you see you know, they can barely even look like coins, do they? There he is, there look. Fifteen is that nineteen fifteen? Twenty-one, twenty-seven. Okay, and a sixpence. Nineteen twenty-four. So I'll, uh, I'll put some silver on that. Uh, I might even film it. Okay. Okay, just before we go, um, I just want to show you this sixpence again. Yeah. Looks pretty good, but I've got my suspicions it's a forge. See these three little marks here? Well, I've done them with my nail. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, see? See, I've just done that. So, a little a quick message to all you people out there who... who uh, you get home and you have a little clean-up and you think you've got silver. Especially George V, because... There's another forgery that I found <coughs> a couple of weeks ago. Not so good, that one. And there's another, even worse, forgery that I found. But they're all George V. <coughs> um, and I've got another one as well, which I can't find at the moment. It's completely snapped in half. But all three of them are forgeries. Okay, folks, just uh, just double check your silvers, especially your George Fives. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave you with that. What a great forgery that is. How, how, how does silver paper stay so good in the ground for so long? Yeah, that's all it is, it's compressed silver paper. Okay, thanks for watching folks, and uh, keep your eye out for them forgeries, happy hunting.